everybody. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. In today's matchup, we've got a pair of wide receivers who certainly want to be targeted throughout the game. It's Jackson's Redskins going up against Spence Ravens. So now let's go to Landover, Maryland, where Jim and Phil have the call. Ravens, Redskins, one of the biggest stadiums in the NFL. FedEx Field, the site for today's game. Hello, friends. Jim Nance along with Bill Sims. And, Bill, it's an absolutely gorgeous day here for football. And how will that factor into this game? You're right, Jim. It is a beautiful day. And in days like this, the best team usually wins because the weather is going to have no effect on all the talent on the field. The throwers and catchers and ball carriers, they don't have to worry about the elements. They can just go out there and show the talent. Awaiting the kick is Niles Paul in his fourth year from Nebraska. And Justin Tucker looks ready to get this one underway. says he's ready to go now for 2014. Well, it's a new start for Robert Griffin III here in his third year in the NFL. Jay Gruden, the new head coach. We'll see what he does, but look, he has a great throwing arm. He can run. Now he's healthy. It's going to be fun to watch him here in 2014. Morris is in the backfield. The Redskins take it from the 28th. the type of run I think this offense would take all game long Phil oh, would be ever they would love this this is this is showing your dominance here the offensive line doing a good job but also a solid job by the running back picking up some good yards they're able to move the chains after that last run Jackson's a receiver in the slot Griffin from the gun. Finds Reed and gains maybe four. And a player to watch is running back Alfred Morris. Alfred Morris all in one. He can run it, run with power. He can block for the quarterback. He is an awesome NFL running back. Second down here. Alfred Morris lined up in the backfield. Handoff by Griffin. Good for only a yard. Pro Bowler every year. Defensive lineman Haloti Nata. He is big. He is talented. He's got quick feet. He can stop the run. And he can push offensive linemen back in the face of the quarterback. He's one of the best. On the way, third down. Jackson's lined up now as a slot receiver. Griffin's going to take it from the gun. Throws the pass. Griffin throws this one incomplete. That was a drive that looked like it had the makings of a touchdown, but instead, the defense is able to make a stand. That's the great thing about playing defense, Jim, in the NFL. It just takes one play to stop a drive, and we just saw it that time by the defensive side. They're in punting formation. Joe Flacco, the MVP of Super Bowl 47. It was a difficult year in 2013 following up the Super Bowl victory, but he's hoping to bring things back for the Ravens this year. 
Well, he won the Super Bowl in 2012 for the Baltimore Ravens, but last year Joe Flacco took a beating. Got hit a lot. The offensive line struggled, and it was a tough year for Joe Flacco. First down here. Jones lined up in the slot. Flacco standing back in the shotgun. The ball is jarred loose. A recovery by the defense. Runs to daylight for the touchdown. That's the way they're taught to be greedy. Don't be satisfied to just get the turnover. Take it all the way back to the house for the school. The Redskins lined up now for the point after. Count it. First down, offense readying for the snap. The Redskins sat at the line, dime package. Blacko's gonna take the snap from the shotgun. Makes the catch. Good piece of tackling. You gotta be agile when you make these kind of catches, running these short drag routes across the field. That time we saw the agility of the receiver. Nice catch. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. And Rice is a running back normally, but this time lined up as a receiver in the slot. Flacco will take it from the gun. He'll throw it over the middle. Flacco is unable to connect that time. Taking a look at the lineups at tight end. One of the best pass-catching tight ends in the game is Dennis Pitta. Yeah, Dennis Pitta had a rough year in 2013, overcoming injuries. But when healthy, he's everything you want. A guy that can get down the field, make the catches, and open up your offense. Joe Flacco will take it right from the center. The Ravens will take the snap from the 45. They knocked him down behind the line of scrimmage. Now for the defensive starters. He's gotten better every year in this league since coming out of Grambling State in 2006, Jason Hatcher. Well, you want to force on the inside. Jason Hatcher is one of those guys. He can stop the run strong enough to hold up against the offensive lineman and also quick enough to find ways to get to the quarterback. Browns in the slot. Third down at 13. Browns got it. And a first. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. When you play man-to-man -man against this receiver, you're going to have a tough time. Quarterback's a good thrower. Really hard for a defensive back to stay with him. First down here after the completion. And Daniels has moved from the tight end position to the slot. Pierce is met after a gain of eight. What that run does, it just puts the offense in a good situation. So a good, positive run. That 
leads us to second down. Flacco will have it in the pistol. The give. He's tackled right at the 31. Rick Holmes so strong, he can do everything on the field. He can rush the pass for beat up tackles, tight ends. How about defending this outside run that time? Stuffs it for no gain. This is third down. Offense lines up here. Off by Flacco. Tackles made and the first down is picked up. The Ravens would love to run the football in all situations like this. When you only need a little bit of yardage to get a first down, they show their power there. And I'll tell you what, this gives the coach a lot of confidence. A new set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. Thompson's going to get set in the slot for this snap. Flacco from the shotgun. The catch is made. Thompson's tackle right at the 20. Well, I guess the best thing to say there, Jim, is they completed the pass, but it still did not get a first down. To the pass play gain seven second and three on the way Joe Flacco will take it right from the center play fake and incomplete he was double covered that time Smith's one of those guys if he drops a pass or makes a mistake on the field he doesn't make excuses he knows no matter what the circumstances are, if you get your hands on the football as a receiver in the NFL, everybody expects you to make the catch. About to snap it for the ninth play of the drive. Third and three. That's Clark who came close to getting the pick. Well, the defense is happy to get off the field. They stopped the third down try by the offense, but they're upset because they had a chance for the turnover, and they dropped a sure interception. This will be a field goal attempt from 37 yards out. time it's still disappointing you get in that position you'd like to score a touchdown Ravens getting set to kick it away. No return here as he takes a knee in the end zone. First down here. Griffin the third will have it in the pistol. Here's the handoff. Pay up the middle. The ball is out. And it's a takeaway. In on the stop. Well, the one thing we know about the NFL, when you have the football in your hands, they are going to attack it. You've got to know that as a ball carrier, protect it a lot better.
great starting position here for the offense. Joe Flacco will take it right from the center. First down at the 30. Down to Smith. The key to being a really good route runner and running these drag routes across the field is show some courage. Don't worry about what's in front of you. The quarterback will take care of that. It's now second down. Rice is lined up in a single back formation. Flacco flings it way down the field. Just not a good decision by the quarterback. I mean, maybe on the sidelines they keep calling the wrong plays, but he's attacking the strength of this cover two defense. Don't do that. Throw where they're not. That's deep down the middle. The offense needs six yards here on third down after that incompletion. Third and six coming up. Ray Rice lined up in the backfield. Looking across the middle. Brought down after a gain of six. You know, when you throw the football like that down the field, you pick up a first down, now you can do anything you want on the offensive side, and you've got that defense guessing. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. And Daniels has moved from the tight end position to the slot. Pierce is going to secure the handoff. Picks up about five. Well, anytime you're talking about a successful run in the NFL, the running back is going to be a big part of that. Breaking tackles, but this time it was just the vision of the running back. He picked the right hole and picked up some nice yards. Second down coming up. Pierce lined up in the backfield. Will go ground. And that's a big time tackle that keeps them three yards short of the first down marker. Hard to score a touchdown sometimes when you get in the red zone in the NFL. Why? Because the defense doesn't have to worry about passes down the field. The offense runs it. They are ready to get it done, and they do to stop the offense for a short game. That'll do it for the first quarter here in Landover, Maryland. And we'll be back in just a moment. Every Thursday night, tune in to the Sim Standard Radio Show featuring myself, Sim FR Critic, and Azure Effect. Um, the link is in the description to listen in and to call in. The number is 914-338-0794.